Hello, welcome back to the video. In this one, we'll be looking at how to use an external microphone with your Canon DSLRs, such as the Rode VideoMic Go, Pro, etc. I'll be using the Rode VideoMic Pro. I'll be doing this today to show you which settings you need to use. And the reason I'm doing this is because in my last video, there was quite a lot of hissing at the beginning of quite a lot of the clips, which is incredibly annoying in post-production because I couldn't get rid of it. For example, so if you actually want to make a career out of this, just getting started is probably one of the most difficult things you can do as a creative. And this drove me crazy in the post-processing stage, using noise reduction in Premiere, separating the audio tracks from the videos and trying to edit it that way. It didn't work. I tried absolutely all sorts. However, later I found out it was due to the in-camera settings, basically meaning it was my fault for not turning down the recording levels, which you should do apparently with Canon DSLRs with um, external microphones. So what we'll do now is we'll swap to my phone's camera, because I don't have a second camera to record me doing this in the first place. Uh, and we'll have a look at what you can do to reduce that hissing sound and better use an external microphone with your Canon DSLRs. If we just navigate to the correct part of the menu and we select sound recording, you can now see that you can change this to manual, which I've done here, and also reduce the sound levels in the camera. It's basically turning down the in-camera gain, therefore reducing the hissing noise and allowing the microphone to do the bulk of the work. My problem was that the sound recording levels were so high, it was picking up absolutely every tiny little sound in my room. Even though I was using an external mic, the camera itself was creating that hissing noise. So I hope this little video was kind of helpful. Um, it took me quite a lot of reading and research and browsing on the internet to try and find a suitable solution to this problem. And um, eventually finding a few other videos, guides and things, and the reasons why this was the case. And I thought I would do this video as well because a few people sent me messages on Twitter about the hissing noise, which thank you very much because I definitely want to improve my filming skills. And I just know how maddening it can be when there's something there, there's a problem there that you don't know that you've caused or you have no idea how to fix. So I hope this has helped you fix this problem. So please like this video if you liked it, if you thought it was helpful in any way, if you have any other tips, any other advice for me to improve my film filming skills, please just let me know down in the comments below. I'm always willing to learn. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It will help me out a ton. You don't realize how much it will help me out. And don't forget to click on that little alarm bell icon as it will allow you to be notified when there's a new release. And let me know any common questions or problems that you've had with your DSLRs, whether it's the newer versions or the T3i Rebel series, that, which is one of the ones that I'm using right now. And also below you'll find my mailing list. And don't worry, no spam at all, hate spam, 100% hate spam. I hate anybody that does spam or is involved with spam or eats spam. Actually, spam is okay, kind of, but fattening. Sign up for my mailing list and you can get my first novel for free called Old Eyes. Again, let me know what you think. Yeah, keep creating, get shit done, and I'll see you in the next one.